So you're considering to play Lost Ark. Well, first up, you're going to have to choose what server you want to be playing on. Ideally, choose an overall server depending on your location, whether that be West North America or the East or Central Europe or South America. And from there, then you go and choose one of those following servers. Ideally, you would choose one that's not so busy. Otherwise, you might end up with queue times, especially when this game launches on Friday as free to play. So right up, I've just chosen Slen as my one. And here you will then be introduced to create your character. I've already created two characters and when you go to select your character creation you'll end up with this screen which you're going to have to be put forth with the decision of what class you want to play first. Within each class you're going to have you can see the advanced classes as well like for example the mage has the bard and also has the sorceress and you can go through those yourselves and like the assassin has your death blade and also your shadow hunter and then you have like your female martial artists you can see there the war dancer scrapper and soul fist and then you have your male martial artists which just has the striker and then you have the same for the gunners as well majority of them are male with the female being just the gunslinger so from there you can just simply go and select the overall class initially and you can click customize you can view the story which will give you like a trailer you can of course skip this or just not select it in the first place if you aren't interested and we select customize and here's where we can go and actually customize our character and how it's going to look first up you're going to have just a bunch of these outfits which you can have your character wearing while you customize her now you also have some emotes which you can go and select just to showcase a bit of how your character is going to move in the world you can also save customization presets so let's say you go and you design your character using all these different options and then you like the look of that one you can go and select a preset and save it there and then you could do that like five times so you could spend hours here in the character creation now unfortunately there's not a whole lot which you can customize now here you can zoom out and zoom in and turn rotate your character around you can change the landscape behind her as well so you can get more of a in world setting type of look in my opinion the easiest is to just have the plain background like so and it's much easier to see finer details without the distraction of lighting and so on in the background and you have a bunch of pre-made looks for those of you who are not too fussed about creating your character initially another big thing is that if you want to let's say reserve your particular unique name well you'd kind of want to rush through the character creation but at this point if we look at the amount of people who have played this game already and it's not even free to play yet we can see it had a peak of 531,000 players playing during the peak time there of 20 UTC that's pretty crazy and they're not even free to play with already like over a million characters created I would assume then there's going to be quite limited on what name you can have on your character and I'll also go over that a little bit later first up let's go through what customizations you can implement to your character so first up we have the overall face look so this will simply just you can see what it changes there just all of the mouth eyes eyebrows and all the overall shape pick something you like the look of unfortunately there's no actual race options at all your race seems somewhat limited to your class as well like she looks somewhat like an elf with those ears but otherwise there is no race options at all we have some advanced face settings here where you can actually change the sliders on things along with eyebrows and angle and then you have your chin you have your nose you also have your mouth and you can see all the options there as well and then we can go to selecting your types of hair there are so many different options here as well although i find it pretty hard to choose one i would actually like and we can of course change the hair color in my opinion the 
color options are not that easy. Like it's pretty hard to get those natural kind of colors without putting blends of really odd colors in. So they could have at least had some, let's say direct color options. You can of course look up your ID for your color and use that to get the ideal color that you want. Otherwise it's not that easy getting these natural hair colors that you would have like your, your browns, your blondes, even getting blacks pretty hard. Although you can do, I believe for black is just turn the brightness all the way down and that just directly gives you black. And we can also two tone the hair so you can have additional colors even more like we could have a black and we could have a tinge of red there. We can change down the brightness a bit. You can end up with things like that and you can adjust the intensity and the extent and then you can change also how it blends together we have to click the advanced option there you can see you can do so many different things you can see how it blends and everything so if you want somebody with your different tones of hair let's say like your highlights then you can absolutely do that there's so many options there with the hairstyles and these are the presets for the hair again it will also depend on what class you are whether you're male or female what options you have available but i believe for the rest here you can have the default and you can have the two-tone and they should be available on everything next up we have the eyes again you can have just your basic eyes here the look of them then you can change the eye color in itself you can change the iris also wow she's looking a bit creepy there with those red eyes and then you can also go to like one eye and just change the left or the right also changing like the op opacity and you can do that overall with them as well and then you can go to like your skin again changing your color with just this wheel here you can make your character look older or younger you can give the intensity a bit of a shine and also a bunch of freckles there if you want it and then we have the whole thing with the makeup as well it will also depend on whether you're male or female what options you have available to you you can change your eyebrow color you can change your eyes up a bit as well with regards to the makeup surrounding them you can see all this makeup looks really jarring right now and that is because of essentially the brightness and the color like if i want to change it to black it already looks so much better and we can change it so that it's more faded with the opacity and we can change like the eye shadow color as well for example there change the brightness of it you can click ok and you can you get my point you can do so many different options you have also tattoos which you can have as well like pretty cute one right there again changing all of those colors if you so wish with some extra bonuses as well here with regards to our ears which that's quite amusing don't really fancy the down ears don't really fancy the butterfly ears don't fancy those pointy ones either there's not really any ones i like i'll just go with the butterfly ones because they are funny we can you can see here you can have like basic tattoos you can have fixed tattoos you can have your basic move here as well all of those you can change the color you can change the position as well where you want to have it on your face whether it's left or right you can mirror it and there's just a whole bunch of options there and then the voice of your character you usually only have like four options there and you can play it how it's going to sound as well just choose what you like overall that's pretty much it for your character so not exactly a very extensive character creation here but at least it has quite a good few options for changing up the face nothing you can do with regards to body scaling you won't be able to change the height of your character or anything or whether you get more muscles or so on but in my opinion that's usually not such a big deal since you're generally clothed in whatever armor or fashion you have anyway but then yeah of course you're gonna have people that look fairly similar especially in body shape if I'm a sorcerer and I match my body against the, another sorcerer they probably look identical you can change the skin tone I believe that does affect your overall body but that's about it so we can go and hit like apply changes and here's where you can input your name unfortunately we're very limited if we zoom in there we can see that we have our character name cannot contain the following special characters they also cannot obtain in-game unique names and terms so i'm assuming there's a whole bunch of in-game names and many of them will be already taken so you won't be able to have them again also won't be able to have 
expletives along with abnormally repeated characters and words and you can't have developer or GM impersonations. So you're very limited on what name you can have. Like I can't even go like this. Let's say I wanted my name like so. You can see we've put in a two kind of setup name and we can't have this. You cannot have spaces in your name. It's a bit of a joke in my opinion. Like I could choose this. This would be absolutely fine, but I can't use anything to break up my character's names unless I use another alphabetical letter because that's all we can choose. It's a bit ridiculous. So your character's only going to have one name and it's very unlikely you can choose one that you already want. Like here, names already taken. I cannot choose that. Let's say I want this name already taken. So what I do is I just put like a prefix on the end of it. Like let's say I put YT and I could do that for all of my characters. And that way people can know it's actually my alt if it just has this prefix. Although if other people are using that too, well, that's that. Once you've created your character, you can see you'll just be popped adjacent to all the other characters you have. Now, very nicely, you can have six characters in total as a free to play person. You can get more expansion slots here. You can see here we can go and try to get a ticket but that's going to cost us 800 of that premium gems. Now you can also go, let's say I made a character and I want to change, let's say my reskin of it. You can do so. However, we can go and select here. They'll enter our character customization, but to apply any change, you're going to have to buy a ticket, which is again, 800 of the premium currency, those gems. We can go back and even if you want to change the name again, this is also locked behind premium currency. It's going to cost you 1,500 this time. Pretty crazy. So it's unfortunate. Just make the right choice at the beginning. Try and just spend some time on your character creation. There is no rush. People are all going to get stuck with regards to just leveling. And the end game is quite a while away and it's not going anywhere. And essentially, once you launch your character for the first time, you'll be on level one and you'll get your fancy uh, intro and you can watch it to enhance your knowledge of the story. Or you can, of course, just press escape and skip. And there you're simply just going to be going through the controls. But if we travel along this bridge here, we'll get to this point to this kind of angel being. Unfortunately, we can't skip anything here. So you'll just have to watch through this. And if you make more characters, well, you're gonna have to be watching that all over again. But here is essentially where you're gonna choose your destiny by choosing your particular path. And there we can go and interact with the object by just pressing our G, which is our standard interact. And here we're gonna choose whether we want to be a bard or we want to be a sorceress. So here, let's say I choose my sorceress. I can test the class before I play it. You can also view some details here you can have a look at what your different powers are like. You might have different targeted powers like so. And overall, you'll just get a feel of how that character is. You can summon some monsters and see how they feel. There we go. We get a bunch of monsters around us. We can try and destroy them. And you can just get a feel for how your character is going to play. And you can see you have your unique here, your identity skill, which will give you your different buffs and so on. Let's say we do this one and you probably can't die here anyway. So I won't worry about it too much. You can also go and summon a boss. You can cancel the summons and you can also try the other class. For example, we can select the bard. You can read a bit about it. We can watch a video on it. You can see the basic info here and then you can also test that class as well. And you can, of course, go and return back to your character selection screen and make your other characters and try get your name reserved for those as well if you so want it. But again, we're just limited to six characters in total as a free to play. So overall, hopefully this was somewhat insightful and helpful to you guys just when you want to start out in Lost Ark and what options you have available to you with regards to customizing your character. So overall, if I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.